The Naked Body, a top to bottom tour through a human being. This week, Pregnancy, written by Lara Morley. Morning sickness, stretch marks, going to the loo all the time, we've all heard about the side effects of being pregnant. But why do these necessary but often undesirable changes happen when there's a bun in the oven? Well, it all starts very early in pregnancy, and it's about getting mum ready for the demands that the growing baby will make for oxygen and nutrients. Some of the changes help protect mum during birth, and some are a byproduct of the roller coaster ride that our hormones go through. Hormones like human chorionic gonadotrophin. Produced by the cells of the embryo in the earliest days of pregnancy, HCG is the hormone detected when you pee on a stick to find out if you're pregnant. It's also probably what accounts for morning sickness. Although anyone who's been pregnant will tell you that that name is misleading and it can hit you at any time, day or night. Other hormones, including estrogen, progesterone and relaxin, are manufactured by the cells in the placenta. These hormones can cause blood vessels throughout the body to dilate, making sure blood flows to the baby, also causing mum's blood pressure to drop. And that's why many women get dizzy or even faint, feel flushed, and even why they might get a bunged up nose. Progesterone keeps the uterus relaxed, preventing contractions until labour. This also has a profound effect on the muscle layer lining the gut, making heartburn, indigestion and constipation very common. Then there's the stretchy skin. After all, the growing bump has to have somewhere to go. This is because estrogen and relaxin enable collagen fibres to be pulled apart. Stretch marks are the result of this process happening quickly. Relaxin also affects the connective tissue between joints, in particular at the front of the pelvis. Coupled with the weight of the baby, it's hardly surprising that many expectant mums experience pelvic pain. And if all that's not enough, in late pregnancy, the size of the uterus means that the lungs have less room to breathe. But the diaphragm and chest muscles adapt to compensate, and so women take deeper breaths during pregnancy. This increases ventilation by 40% without changing how many breaths are taken. As a result, there are higher levels of oxygen in the blood, which promotes transfer of oxygen to the baby. But it also means that the majority of pregnant women feel breathless. So there you have it. Pregnancy is unique. At no, time in, uh, at no other time in life does a woman's body undergo such profound changes in physiology. These changes occur almost immediately after conception and affect almost every aspect of bodily function.